Hi friends, I'm excited to share a new layout today for the Vicki Booten design team. I am using the new mixed media collection release that was just done and I absolutely love everything about it. So I pulled out a piece of 12 by 12 pattern paper from the paper pad in that collection and it's a white with black polka dots and it kind of has some inking on the edges that looks like like a light teal and a light green and I am using just some white gesso with my brayer in the center because I'm going to be adding some mixed media to it so the gesso helps the pattern paper hold up and be a little bit stronger and so the first thing that I did I'm going to be using two photos today I'm still working on our crease strip I feel like it's never ending um so I went through I had six by eight paper pads from where to next and print shop and uh several different collections that were left over. So I pulled out, this is Discover and Create. I pulled out a patterned paper from Discover and Create to back the photos. I'm gonna do that here. And it is a very subtle, very light, um, almost aqua, but very, very, very pale hexagon pattern. So I'm going to back both of the photos with that. Usually I back the photos or map the photos on white. So this is kind of a play on that, but it's got a little bit of pattern there to it. And then I'm going to go and pull out some patterned papers now to go behind all of that that have a lot more color. So these are all from where to next. several different patterns. I don't end up using the colorful word pattern, I don't think. No, but I use all of the others. So those stripes. And if you remember when I was doing all of my where to next layouts, that's my favorite pattern paper from that collection. I love those stripes. And then I am going to use this turquoise pattern paper. And these are just going to be layered up behind the photos. So I'm going to kind of layer them in a way that you can see all of them. And it's just going to kind of help give a place for my photos to rest on top of, you know, kind of between the photos and all of the mixed media that's going to be in the background. And then I love, this is probably my second favorite pattern, is the black with the colorful hearts. So the pattern papers are not going to be centered or anything. They're going to kind of be off center in the background back there. I just kind of want them all poking out a little bit. And at first I was going to layer the whole sheets behind it. I do end up trimming off just the parts that I need. So the stripe, the striped pattern paper, I'm going to leave that how it is. I'm going to edge the, distress the edges of it. And then for this turquoise, I'm just going to trim off the pieces that are going to be poking out. You'll see right here, instead of wasting all that paper behind it, so I can use that on something else, I'm just going to use, so it looks like it's layered behind there, but it's really just the, just the edges. And I'm going to do the same thing with the hearts. I am using my Tim Holtz edge, edge distressor to make sure that all of those edges look distressed here. And I do end up, I put the hearts on going the wrong direction at first. So it's going to take me a minute to realize that I've done it in the wrong place. Because I want to be able to see all of those stripes. And if I left it up and down like that, I wouldn't be able to see them behind the photos. So it's kind of, it's turned the wrong way. So I'm going to fix it here in a second. Once I put my photos on, I'm going to realize it. So see, all the stripes are covered up. So I realize I've done something wrong. <laughs> so I'm just going to take it apart and fix it. And it's real easy to fix because it's just the, it's just the hearts in the wrong spot. And now when I put my photos on, you can see all of those colors of stripes kept poking out on the sides of the photos. And then my photos, I'm going to put a little craft foam behind, pop those up. So they give it gives it a little bit of dimension on the layout. 
and relatively speaking, the final layout for this for me is not super thick. Uh, I do use craft foam behind things, but I don't have like multiple layers of craft foam this time. I'm trying to be better about that because my, my <laughs> albums are so thick. <laughs> okay, so that's going to go pretty much right there. And I'm going to use a pencil to trace where I want it to go so I know where to do all of the mixed media on the background. Okay, so I am going to use acrylic paint from the new release and I mix the yellow and the orange and then I also do one drop of crackling campfire distress ink and then I add a little bit more of the yellow so I'm just doing some mixed colors there and I'm going to add a little bit to the bottom right and then I'm going to add some to the top left So I kind of want the paint to look like it's poking out of either side of that, out of either side of my pattern paper and my photos. I'm just adding some splatters and some drops of paint here. And I do love that this acrylic paint, you can still see the pattern paper behind it. It's not super opaque. Uh, the pattern, the acrylic paint in the new release is pretty thin and I love that because you can still see everything behind it. Uh, so here I took the pink and it's a hot pink and I did add one drop of picked raspberry to it just to kind of match. I was trying to match the colors in the patterned papers that I was using. I'm going to do pink on either side. And then for the turquoise, sorry, I'm still adding some splatters and some drops here. I do add just a touch of pink in the orange section. Okay, so for the turquoise here, I am using the new acrylic markers or acrylic pens, paint pens that come in the new release. And a little bit goes a long way. So you can see that I just used a tiny little bit on the paper. And then I added a little bit of water and it it goes so far. And I absolutely love it. I will say it is a little more opaque. So it's thicker and you cannot see if I added it really thick. So look, I add just a tiny bit. And then watch as I add the water, it spreads. So it is a fantastic, fantastic paint. And that's just a paint pen. So you could use it as a paint pen, but here I used it to add some color to the background and I absolutely love how this turned out. And if you buy the set of those acrylic pens, you have all of the different colors, which is awesome. So it's a great, that's a great purchase. If you're kind of wanting to dip into mixed media a little bit and get lots of bang for your buck, you'll get lots of colors if you buy those and they kind of go a long way and you can do lots of different things with them. So it's gonna be fun to kind of explore and see all the different things I can do with those, with those acrylic markers. Okay, so I add a little, few little splatters. And then now I'm gonna take white acrylic paint, so this And then take just straight white acrylic paint, add a little bit of water to it, and then I'm gonna add some splatters. And you can see I got the perfect shades that I needed just by mixing and blending different colors. And you can mix and blend different mediums to get the colors that you need. The white did the white splatters here helped to kind of lighten up the color. And then this is the new one of the new stencils that Vicky just released, and I'm using it with grit paste. You can see right when I got started, I got a sharpie and I put VB down in the bottom right hand corner. The purpose of that is when I go back to try to line up my I always mark my stencils. So when I go back 
and I add another layer, I'm going to be adding another layer of color over the grit paste. Um, having marked the stencil helps me find where to line up, <laughs> line the stencil back up with what I'd already put down. So I am going to be using the green. It's a beautiful green acrylic paint pen or marker uh, that just came out. So it's in the set where I use the turquoise. This is now the green. And what I'm doing is I am coloring on top of the grit paste with that marker. And again, having marked my stencil, it's easy for me to line that stencil back up and find what section I could use to be able to add the color on top of the grit paste. So once all of that dried and the grit paste, I did have to let that dry. I let it dry overnight actually before I colored on top of it. So the grit, and that's just a Ranger ink medium and it does take some time to dry. So make sure you dry, let it dry nice and well before you try to color on top of it. Okay. And so now I took, pulled out a whole bunch of things from the new mixed media release and I love all of these pieces and parts that came in the sets. I There are four sets in the new release. And I said in my last video, you need all four. I'm sticking with it. You need all four because um, they are fantastic. And there's so many different beautiful pieces in there. So I pulled out this uh, cardstock ephemera that says little getaway adventure. And it is has gold embossing on it, which is beautiful. So it's got a little bit of shine. And then these shells were also in there and that was perfect because we're in Santorini in the photos and spent some time at the beach while we're there. And so the shells were perfect. And then the little umbrella, the globe, I'm going to be using all of those little pieces. Those glasses, I really wanted to use those striped glasses because I love how they look with the pattern paper, but they did not work down there. So I ended up using the flower instead. I kind of played around with lots of the different little things, but I do end up using that blue shell. And I will trim off the white edges. I did, trimmed off the white edges of the shells and of the flower and then the little getaway adventure I did trim out there was white and I sorry I was talking while I while I was showing that I did trim out some of the middles of those letters there was a lot of white in that and so I trimmed it out because I didn't want it to be to cover up everything behind it so help trimming off the edges sometimes helps to be less distracting from the color and all of that that you, that you have going on Okay, so this is pink thread that I'm adding behind that shell. I kind of wanted some pink over there in that section, along with the pink paint that's there. And then this blue, this blue shell, I did use my scoring tool and the lines on my trimmer to kind of add some indentions. I was gonna have it fold up a little bit more. It doesn't, you, you could tell in person when you feel it. Um, when you look at it up close, but it's kind of hard to tell in the photos in the video, but it does have some texture there to it because I scored the lines in between each little ruffle on the shell. And then I folded up the leaves and the petals on the flower so that they're poking off pretty, they add some great texture to the layout pretty far off the page. And I am popping up everything on craft foam because my photo was popped up on craft foam. That title little getaway adventure has to be popped up as well. So then the, all the little ephemera around it, I popped up. Add a little bit of thread down there behind the heart that I'm going to add. And that's just, it's like um, pink thread that I would use in my sewing machine. And I'm gonna add the pink heart popped up on the craft foam on top of that. And then I will end up going and back and adding some other hearts down there as well. Kind of off to the side of those leaves. So I add a green heart and then a gold heart. I 
And all of these pieces and parts are in one of the sets from the new release. And then I will turn off the white edges of the umbrella here. And that's just a personal preference. A lot of people leave the white edges on their ephemera when they're adding it to their page. I just like how it looks better when it's, uh, when it's not there. So that is a step you could skip if you don't want to take the time to do that. I love to fussy cut things and to cut around things. So it doesn't bother me at all to take the time to do that. But it is a step you could skip if you wanted to. And then that little pink tab I am going to add. It says Wanderer. It's going to go right there. I play with it in several different places, but it's going to end up going right there above the shell. And then the word, the journey, that is an acetate title from one of the, the new sets. And it just says the journey and then it's clear. So I do, I will end up using my sticker adhesive to glue that down or my sticker maker. I have a, I think it's a Zyron sticker maker. Is that the name of it? Something like that. And there it is. I've stuck it down, ran it through my little sticker maker, and then I can stick it on the photo. And the reason I do that, if you do glue or you do adhesive behind that word, if you don't do it solid, you'll be able to see where you do the adhesive. So um, by running it through the sticker maker, uh, when I glue down acetate things, then it's one solid sheet of adhesive and you can't really tell uh, that I've done that. So that was the purpose of that. And then this is washi tape that comes in long strips in the new sets and it is fantastic. Uh, so I tore one of, and it's pretty thick, which is awesome. So I could use it on two different, uh, one piece on two different parts. So I tore it in half, all of that on that sheet that I'm showing right now is washi tape. And I tore the striped washi tape in half and I am going to adhere it to the top and the bottom. And I love how that looks because it speaks to the pattern paper that's in the middle of the page. It's the same pattern, but it's washi tape. So uh, it's a little bit transparent. You can kind of see through it and still see the pattern paper behind it, which I love. All the little black polka dots. And then these little phrase stickers are also in those same sets. So that one that I just put on the photos has Paradise Found, which for sure in these photos, our villa in Santorini was definitely Paradise. So it's perfect. And then up at the top, I put a collection of moments is what that little phrase sticker says. And I'm going to do one more down at the bottom underneath the shell and the flower. And it says, I'm going to move the paper in just a second, I think, so you can see it. It says, happiness is here there at the bottom and then for this globe I am going to trim off the white edges just on I leave a little bit of a white edge but I trim off most of the white because it is sitting on a piece of turquoise pattern paper and the globe is turquoise so I did want to leave just a touch of the white to kind of help set it apart but I trimmed most of it off and then that little marker says here and this is my husband's hand is going to come in there. <laughs> um, he was pointing and showing me exactly where uh, Santorini, where Greece is on the globe. I thought I knew where, and I, I had it in the right spot, but I was second guessing myself when I was looking at that, at the globe. So he came in and confirmed for me that it was in the right spot. Because I wanted that little marker to be pointing, the tip of it to be pointing exactly where we were. Or the geotag, I guess I should call it a tag, not a marker. The geotag and then I added a little bit of orange thread behind that and then this flower is gonna go just to the left of the photo up there by the umbrella I did play with a lot of different little pieces I was at one point gonna add a butterfly I thought the flower that big pink flower might work but 
nothing seemed to work except this little orange, orangey flower. So I cut off part of it and I have it kind of looking like it's poking behind the photo. And I love how that looks. And then I added the word journey, a little tab down there. And I'm going to add the yellow heart popped up, popped up on craft foam. And then I love these um, gold embossed hearts. And I add a couple of those around the page. And then this is just some sequins and some little half pearls that I'm going to add to the centers of the flowers and around the little clusters that I've created. And I'm just going to add those in matching colors here. I'm using my quick stick. That is a little, it's got a little sticky end on it. It helps you pick up sticky stuff, which is great. And then I'm using pops of color here to wrap it up. And I've, I'm using kind of the five main colors that I've got going on. The orange, the yellow, the pink, the green, and the turquoise. So I'm going to add just little dots of color there around. And then here are some close-ups of the finished layout. So you can kind of see that. I love all of that paint and the texture that the grit paste adds along with the color on top of it. And then all of the little pieces of ephemera are so fantastic. I love it. And that washi tape up there, you can see. Love how that turned out. All right, and here are some close-up photos. If you have any questions about anything, be sure and let me know. I will be happy to answer them. And I hope you guys have an awesome day and get your hands on this mixed media collection that's got all of the best of the things from all the best things from Vicki Booten. So I hope you guys have an awesome day. Bye for now.